All right, so it's been a couple days. Got a few other things done to it. This is the X-axis. Got the linear rail on that thing. I have other parts coming on. So very stable. So now I need to make a uh, like a belt holder bracket for this thing. Like uh, nothing that I actually have uh, seen so far actually works with it. So I got a piece of this angle aluminum and cut it. Show you that, but it'll be acting like a belt holder. So it's going to flip over and wrap around that. It's going to cut a slice off of this thing right here. Then I'll drill the holes and I'll powder coat it. Get it so the belts will feed under here. And I should be done with this axis. Yeah, because I'm actually trying to use a different, different uh, extruder head. Like this thing, this is actually considered the uh, the Prusa Bear, Prusa Bear upgrade. So uh, it doesn't exactly work for what I want to do. I want to use this. I want to use the BMG, you know, geared uh, pulley versus the uh, the Baird one, which is not like a gear reduction. So. All right, so I cut that off, and when I'm done with it, I'll show you what's up. I'm not gonna show you every process because it actually slows me down making these videos. So, all right. All right, this might make more sense right here. So I cut that piece off, so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit here, and the belt's gonna come back up over here, and it's gonna come through here and mount to this thing right here. So, and then I do actually have some Trinamic 2209 drivers, the new 29. They're like the 228s, but they have the uh, centerless homing. So that's what I'm gonna try to test out here. All right. All right, there it is, take a look. So that will fit on there like that. And the belts will come back up through here. And then I have uh, some little belt holders that are gonna go here, like belt clamps. I actually tapped those for M3 threads right there. And the belts will come back up through and around. And it will work. Hopefully. So I'm actually going to sandblast this and powder coat it. So if you're interested in how to powder coat, I made another video about how to home powder coat. So I'm going to make that black wrinkle. Like uh, there's the part, nice and powder coated. And the belts are going to flip back up around into it like that, through that hole. That. And like I said, those are M3 already tapped. So I might have to do a few things. I'm mean, probably try to lower the belt down as far as I can go to keep that belt in that pocket. But all right, there it is. So that's the end of this video. And that was the goal today was to get this X-axis going on the linear rail. The belt's nicely hidden down under the 2020 rail. I uh, obviously you saw me make this. Um, just from a piece of like uh, angle aluminum, powder coated it, and then from here, um, what, what I want to do is actually I'm going to try to get the, uh, I got some TMC 2209 drivers coming in, and uh, the new version uh, should have the uh, sensorless hum humming so I can, we'll hit that and stall out hopefully if I get it to work. Uh, that way I don't have to put an end stop on there, but I can actually put an end stop if I want to back there. But I prefer not to, but... Alright, so I actually had to order some uh, other things like this too that's coming in the mail. These actually were the pattern wasn't big enough. Those are my original A-net ones. So I get some bigger. The diameter was uh, too small for those holes. And uh, I got the uh, the bed plate support coming in tomorrow. And then I'll do the linear rails for the bottom here, the Y-axis. And so the next video I'll be working on the Y-axis. And then the last video when I'm done... I'm going to be putting this uh, thing on here, the Vontek extruder, so, cool, looking pretty good. Yeah, I, I didn't really, you know, like I said, I could have spent a few hours trying to design one of these in plastic, and like fusion 360, but, you know, it's easier for me just to do aluminum. Plus, aluminum, I think, is actually more sturdy, so, especially for something that's important as an extruder, so. All right, cool, having fun.